Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Oregon Ducks and the Syracuse Orange. Number 23 is an unbelievable player who's been given the reins to take his team to victory. It's hard to stop this young man at offense. When he gets going, Brad, he's got the Jays, got offensive penetration, you name it. This kid's got it, baby. The Orange will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Orange are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. Number one, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Secondly, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. Lastly, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the boards. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. Both teams looking to get things going. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He makes the block. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. They look to get it to the inside. On the dribble, gives it up. The center takes the pass. Taken away. It's a fast break possibility for two. There was no doubt about that one. On the inside, he looks at the hoop. Tries for two. I love the sky hook. You can't unblock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. And now, why don't more guys use it? Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. And a momentary look from three-point land. Three, he nails the bucket. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Trying to feed inside, and he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Dumps it in. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teacher, ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big. Yeah, really, it's tough to deny him the ball. Trying to go inside. Turns it over. Gave it up. The point guard with the ball. For the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Frustration right there. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Great anticipation defensively. Gave it up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He shoots from downtown. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Smith is fired up right now and emotional. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence.
on the dribble, gives it up. The power forward takes the feed. Great play to take that to the basket. Sets the screen for his teammate. Hey, no weak side help from the team, right? Looks like they're just standing around out there. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. It was Nick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Gave it up. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential when entering the ball to the post. Ball was not loose, but the offense got it back. Here's the three ball. Gets it to go. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for the bomb. Nice shot. Gave it up. The power forward gets the pass. Goes up for two. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Pushing that basketball. Great shot. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him, and I'd see what happens. They work the perimeter in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Syracuse have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Smith has got the people in the bleachers up in appreciation. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. The power forward gets the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ted just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Ten seconds on the clock. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. For two, and he missed. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Takes away the pass. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. From three-point land. Makes the shot. Steals a pass. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Two perfectly executed. Mm -hmm. 
Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. The dribble gives it up, leans in. Easy one. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. The Ducks have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the inside, jumps in. He makes the shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Up and inside. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He wants a three. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. Got a wide open look. Takes the shot. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Jumped in front to take it away. For two, they still don't score. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. Despite the contact. <laughs> Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle and they also have the good entry from the wing. Wow, let's check out the replay. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Number one, fakes the shot. 
And he'll kick it back outside. He puts it up. Oregon are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. There's the trap. He shoots from the top of the key. Knocks it down. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He fakes the shot. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Look at these fans. They're loving it. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. it up intercepted easy bucket coming here trying to draw some contact drops the bucket despite the harm gave it up he intercepts it on the dribble, gives it up with a quarterback pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Picked off. Here's a flash from the post up high. Tries for two, and he missed. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. From right in the circle, the Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. Now they work it around the perimeter with the fake for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Double team now, bad angle. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. And back they come the other way. He hammers it home. Erickson makes a great move to draw the foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional, they're packed, they're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. He is going to the line. He hits his first. Gets two at the charity strike. 
Big time screen set on the defender that time. Oh, what a strip, Red. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't go with the six man for no reason. Tickles a twine. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. And he scores despite the hack. Stolen away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. And the ball goes out of bounds. And now watch them celebrate. Even the mascot's in on the action. Ho, ho, even the mascot is on the celebration. Launches away, way off target. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He gets the foul off the pro hop. He was going full steam ahead on that move. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. To the line. Makes the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBN. For two, can't get the shot to go. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Drains the shot. We'll get another look at it. Picks off the lazy pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Great effort right there, trying to play that passing game. Anticipating really well. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Shot clock is dead. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Nice fake. And 
has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. A high screen. Trying to draw the foul. There was no doubt about that one. At the half, the Orange are behind by three. Well, it's been a close one so far, Nick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? Check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Syracuse got beat up on the boards in the first half. They made no commitment, Brad, to fight for the loose ball. I bet the coaching staff is going to hammer on the notion of aggressively crashing the boards for the rest of the game. Start of the second half, Dick, our focused player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. The ball goes out of play. Harm and foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Makes the second. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. He hits the third. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Look at that spacing. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Picks off the pass. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Second ball approaching. And a momentary look from three-point land. Kicks it out. He shoots from the angle. It's good. Steals a pass. He fires it up. Goes. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Puts it up, looking for contact. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. It around the arc. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And they get the 
the turnover. The ball goes out of bounds. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Count that as a personal foul. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Doesn't go. Arnold was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That's a good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Here they come with a double team to stop it. There he is, strips the ball loose. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Jumped in front to take it away. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Looking to move it around the perimeter. In the post. Jumps into the defender. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Ducks are up by 10. Great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The Ducks have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Fake. Fakes it. For two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I got deep there's a nice block from behind Dick yeah that's good timing for the defense gave it up on the dribble gives it up nice deal there but the offense gets the ball back 10 seconds to shoot 
Hits the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. And the ball goes out of play. One on the shot clock. Time's up, Dick. How does a team just flat run out of time like that? Hey, Brad, when a defense is playing like these are, the offensive players become unsure of what shot to take. So obviously, this wastes time. The kick out leans in. Perfectly executed. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. Sinks the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Right now, got to focus defensively. The offensive guy now is gaining position. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Looking for a good shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Stolen away. Moving it around the perimeter. Got a nice screen. He fouled him. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 34 checks in off the pine for his first action. Hey, this guy will tear it up if you let him, Brad. Misses the free one. He hits a second. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. He strips him clean. Smith handles the feed. Tries for two. And he missed Syracuse. Are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. So human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Steals the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. Here's a double team. It's stolen. Bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Coming in 
outside. He's got an open look for the shot. He shoots from outside. Goes in. There it is again. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Court pass. Shoots it. Syracuse. Have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, they'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Cue up the replay, fellas. Work it around the arc. Erickson. That layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. To the charity strike. Rims off. He gets the rebound. Up and inside. In the paint. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Picked off. Work it around the perimeter. Lobs it inside. The ball goes out of bounds. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. The Orange are behind by seven. Picks off the pass. Tries for two. Oregon are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Picked off. He strokes it off the rim and no good. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He takes the three. He drains the bucket. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He knocks down another bucket. This dip. kid's got skills, Brad. Nice look. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. 
on the dribble gives it up the fake here's the offensive drop step and a low block but better defense I tell you the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline that's a foul that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively and look at the facial expression Working around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The Ducks lead by 11. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position, and spreading his body and getting the ball. Gave it up. Controlling the ball. Steals the pass. The dribble gives it up. There it is, Jam City. Gave it up for the bucket and off the mark. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Good fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. They still don't score. There's the trap. For two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He attempts the three. That was nice. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Oregon are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. against it he attempts the trifecta three balls paying dividends tonight dick that's right brad all their bills are getting paid from the arc baby they'd like to get it inside to the low block Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries one from three-point land. Nice shot. No, 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 no. 
He tries to knock down the three. Tickles the twine. Check this one out. Now they work it around the perimeter. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. On the outside. Too physical. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. There's a double team waiting there. He goes for three. That was nice. Poor judgment results in a backcourt violation. You got to take care of the rock, baby. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Banks receives the pass. Steal. Syracuse loses in a well-fought match. They'll be disappointed to come up short to such an evenly matched team. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.